This is amazing. Now we are going to see how you can implement graph rag using Olama and LM Studio. We have already seen graph rag is much more advanced than basic rag and it is released by Microsoft. It is a process by which we convert a chunk of data and extract entities and the relationship between them and plot it as a graph, which means when we provide this context to the large language model, it is able to give us a high quality answer. In that way, we are improving the performance of a large language model response. I've already covered the basics and advanced tutorial in regards to graph rag, which I will link that in the description below. By the end of this video, you'll be able to implement graph rag using Olama and LM Studio locally on your computer. And in this mainly, I'll be focusing on global search. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about graph rag using Olama and LM Studio. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set up Olama, how you can set up LM Studio, and finally implement that in RAG Graph. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, download Olama from olama.com and also download LM Studio from lmstudio.ai. So the reason why we need to use both together to run it locally is because when you go through this OpenAI compatibility for Olama, at the bottom we can see more to come. That is Embedding's API. So Embedding API is not available for Olama in regards to OpenAI compatibility. That's why we can't use Embedding's API via Olama. That's when we need LM Studio. Apart from that, we can serve the model directly from Olama. So in your terminal, once after you download Olama, just type Olama pull Gemma 2. That's the model which we are going to use. Now you can see Gemma 2 got downloaded. Next, open LM Studio. There I'm searching Nomic. That's the embedding model which we are going to use. Nomic embed text. And you can download a model from here. I've already downloaded this model from my list. It is 84 MB. That's it. After this, go into local server. There's the option where you can choose your embedding model. So you can choose 84 MB. That is the quantized version, Q4. You can also use Q8 if you want to download a larger version. But for now, I'm going to use Q4. Then after that, you can click Start Server. So here you can see at the bottom, this is the endpoint for embeddings. So the embeddings compatibility is available for LM Studio, but not for Olama. So you can note this URL, which might be useful later. And in regards to Olama, Note this URL, port number 11434. Now coming to our terminal, pip install graph rag and then click enter. Now it got installed. Now python hyphen m graph rag dot index hyphen hyphen init hyphen hyphen root and dot. So init means initialization. A root means root folder. That's the main package folder. That's our current folder. That's why I mentioned dot. If you have placed your project in some other folder, just mention the path here. That's it. After this, click enter. Now this will automatically create the settings.yaml file. So in that, just ch change the model name to Gemma2 and the API base. You need to change this to localhost 11434 slash v1. So this is in regards to LLM. So when you come to the embeddings model here, just enter the embedding model which we are using, the full path, including Nomic AI, Nomic Embed Text version 1.5 GGUF. This is based on the LM Studio documentation and you can see the model full path here but i have also tried without mentioning the correct name of the model and it still worked so as long as you choose the model here and click start it should work so once after you enter the model name and the lm studio url you can modify the chunk size or overlap based on your requirement here i chose 300 size and overlap is 100 similarly i changed the maximum length for summarized description maximum length for community report. This is so that I can complete the tutorial quickly because generally for running any models locally on your computer, this is going to take a long time. And the final step is that I need to provide the base directory that is the input folder. So here we are going to place our txt file with text. So in your case, it could be your own data. 
just create a folder called input and keep all the files here. So in my case, here is the input folder and here is my text book.txt. So if I open it, you can see it's about a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and it contains information about the book. And I'm not using the whole book because if I add the whole book, it'll take a lot of time for me to process this request during this tutorial. So just keeping it short and now we are ready to index. Graph rack totally involves three steps. One is data in the input folder, which we have added. Now next step is indexing the data and the third step is querying the data. So indexing is process by which we convert unstructured data into more structured data in graph format. That's why it's called graph rag. So we convert the unstructured data to structured data and store it in a place. Then after that, we ask question to the large language model and it's going to give us the answer based on the context or the graph information retrieved. As a result, the quality of the output is going to be higher. So to index, type in your terminal python hyphen m graph rag dot index hyphen hyphen root and dot and then click enter. Now you can see it's reading settings from settings.yaml. Then after that, it's dividing the text into different chunks. That is 300 tokens. Then after that, it creates the base extracted entities, then creating the final entities, creating final nodes, creating final communities, and finally, all workflows completed successfully. Totally, it took 26 minutes. So that's a long time. And also, it's less amount of data. Even when you see the log file, you can see for calling LLM, it's using Olama 11434. To call embedding, it's using 1234 slash v1. And we are using gnomic embed text, as you can see here. So that is LM Studio. 11434 is Olama. Next, it's going through different stages in the log. And sometime you can see calling an LLM is error and it's again retrying. So that option is there. But once after it started working, I can see no errors. Yeah, so that's overall log. Now we are ready to query. So same as before, graph rag dot query. That means we are going to ask a question and the root project is in this location, the current location. That's the current folder. Then the method is global search and we are going to ask what are the top themes in this story and then click enter. Now you can see it's using Jama2 and Olama to generate the response. And here's the answer. This story explores several key themes. One prominent theme is the transformative power of Christmas spirit. Similarly, it's giving other themes. Now let's try local search. It's same as before, but the only difference is method is local. In this, we are asking who is this person and what are his main relationships. Now we are going to click enter. The local search is not working because of some code or the compatibility. As soon as I have a fix, I will let you know. But for now, we have the global search to play with. So just use the method global and you are able to perform the same graph rack. Now you are able to integrate Olama and LM Studio to set up your graph rack application. You can even use LM Studio on both the instance. So instead of using Olama, you can even use LM Studio for the model generation and also LM Studio for embedding. This will help you to run this graph rack freely on your own computer and your data remains private. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.